Hi everyone, I'm with my good friend Hasna. Hi. And we're at Aparasiga. And we're going to be exploring where indentured laborers came into Mauritius. Let's get the adventure started. What a beautiful day in Mauritius. Wow, and a great day to be exploring Aprovatsi Gut. Hopefully I said that correctly. This is where the indentured laborers came into Mauritius. It was an experiment to see if they could stop slavery. Up ahead is the interpretation center. It's pretty much like a museum, but basically you get to interpret the information yourself. This is the exhibition where Jane, a really knowledgeable guide, started. These are the names of the 36 indentured laborers that pretty much ended slavery in the British Empire. Wow, do they still have like some of these surnames in Russia? Yes, yes. Right? We're going to be starting with how this actually became a UNESCO heritage site, mostly responsible to this man. These are actual photographs of the people who came here. Everyone had to have two photos taken. These are a couple of other photos. I mean, not, not a young person. I'm walking on glass, quite a little breath. <laughs> Here we are in a ship, walking from side to side, and I just kept it so we're not actually on a ship. But each person would have a little section, somewhere to sleep, somewhere to eat, probably a main kitchen where people would have got their food. As you can see, the hull is full of things. This is the English excavation. Original stone. This is the lime that they would have used. They made it out of sugar juices. The ox cart behind me the fields and dumped the fertilizer on it. The museum has these kids' corners dotted all over with beautiful interactive displays that kids can learn in their own way. This is the actual site. Look at this great old camera. This is the camera that they used to take two photos of every single indentured laborer who came through. This is an original ID from 1848. Now we're like in a shed where they used to sleep. They have the sleeping place and there they have a kitchen where they used to make roti, uh, Indian bread. And this they used to grind their spice. And when the heat would go up, they would put their fish, their meat to dry there. Janta, it's this. So they would crack the, the, the wheat all the rice. Hi everyone, welcome to the Daily Grind. That literally means grinding the wheat. And it would have been the woman who did this, like, the daily grind. <laughs> it really is a grind. I love the little thing. Behind me is the modern day harbour. The water would have been right here. Smaller boats would have come up here. This is where they would have stepped off the ship for the first time. And they would have come to this point. It's called the 16 Steps. So as they walked up those steps, they started their new lives in Mauritius. And three quarters of them stayed here. Let's go up the stairs. Wow. On this side, they've gone to the toilet. Yeah, that's the toilet. And on this side, they've had a shower. Okay, they were given new clothes there. And up ahead is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Quite small. Over there was the house of the Suja. Suja. Su. What was the name of the translator? Sherda. Uh, Sherda. She will go check. When we get there. Uh, actually, this is Sierda. Sierdo. 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 He could speak all the languages. <laughs> this is a piece of broken wall. You can actually see how the stones would have been put in. This bit here was all wood fronted with steel beams that actually held up a piece of roof. I haven't actually told you guys, but they only got five rupees a month, which is about 9,000 modern rupees. 
So it's not actually too bad, but they have their food. They got their food and they got their accommodation, but yeah. they had to pay 20% of their money for their trip back. So they would be paying 20% of their money for their trip back, After, which and they didn't after five years. Back if, they didn't go. if they didn't take their trip, they lost their money. However, if they did 10 years, they got a piece of land, but a bad piece of land. This is the hospital block. It has been perfectly restored to how it would have been. The quality and everything is beautiful. The roof has been repaired and the windows and doors are as they would have been. So the hospital there, and just up ahead, this is the surgery, it's exactly the same building as we just saw. And then in here is the kitchen, we'll go and have a look at that. This is the kitchen that they did for the British officers when they had their food made. As bits broke, they replaced it with the red brick. Here we're going up the chimney, the hole up the chimney of the fireplace. And just like all the other places we've been visiting, the quality of the cornerstones is unbelievable. They're remarkable, true artists. Let's go across to the, the cart shed. This is the cart shed. This would be a repair area rather than a storage area for cart because the carts you could keep outside. So you'd need somewhere to work out of the blazing sun to repair them. Yeah. This is the stable. So they don't have horses in here. Yeah. Looks like space for two. Yeah, exactly. Two horses, that's all you really need. But the most important one is next door. This is the room of the gatekeeper. He is locked in at the moment, so no one can be signed out to go out this gate yet. And this is the gate that took you to somewhere like Antoinette. So you would have walked out here onto a cart, going to Antoinette. There's a piece here that I'll show you about Antoinette. 4,000 of them walked out this gate and went to Antoinette. Here I am walking out to probably what would be my first free day in Mauritius where I'm going to become an indentured labourer working sugarcane for five years so not that much freedom coming out that gate. This starts the story of the indentured labourers. This is where they actually arrived in Mauritius. The rest of the story actually happens out there. We'll go and find it and we'll bring it to you. As for indentured labourers, the last ones came through here in 1910 and then it was all over. What another great adventure in Mauritius. Aprivati Gat. You've got to go and see it for yourselves. Who knew 36 people could actually end slavery in the British Empire? I loved learning this piece of history. Mauritius is a fascinating place, full of history, full of potential, full of diversity, and it all started with 16 steps. And wasn't Hesna great? Knowledgeable, fun. We really enjoyed going around with her, and there will be some more collabs with her in the future. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us know what sort of content you want us to create. And as always, thanks for watching.